Oh, let me turn this around so you can see something pretty. Good morning. I'm all packed up and ready to get rolling. It only took two hours. I just wanted to show you this great campsite. Over there is where I had my tent. And over here is a lovely fire pit and logs to sit on. And my very most favorite thing about this campsite is this short little walk down to the water source. And it was real easy to get down. You probably can't tell so much from the video, but those are just short little steps made out of roots. So today, um, I'm gonna have to hike farther than I have been. Um, and I still don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the next water source. And if I did, I'm not even sure if there's a place to tent around it. So just to be on the safe side, I'm carrying extra water today. A little concerned about the weight, but what else can I do? So it's gonna be a beautiful day. So walking along the trail and discovered this really nice little stealth site. Looks like the ground is soft and it even has its own bear trap. I found a cool little stealth site. I'm taking a break. It's um, too much of an incline for a tent, but this would be great for a hammock. Nice little spot. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. So there's the trail down there. And then this is just a little spot. Up here, I stumbled. Yeah, I stumbled in the creek when I was getting my water this morning, so I have wet shoes and socks. So I uh, thought while I take a break, let them air out a little. 
as well as my feet. Right now, I'm really glad that I did not cut down this um, foam sleeping pad. Um, in my in a previous video where I was showing you the contents of my pack, I said I knew I needed to cut it down. But right now, I'm really glad I didn't because look at this. I fit on it. I get to sit. My butt has a clean place to sit. My feet does. Look at all this stuff. All this debris that would be all over stuck to my sweaty legs if I didn't have the world's biggest sip pad. This is my current view. I'm taking another break. I made it to the first tent site. Well, let me turn this around. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I made it to the first tent site. I could spend the night here, but it's pretty early. I just took a little bird bath and just chilling out a little bit, trying to hide from the worst heat of the day. Got my feet up, take a little break. Trails is right up there. I thought I was living the dream a few minutes ago, but then I remembered I have an umbrella. So now I even have shade from the sun. It's two o'clock. It's like 84 degrees out. Uh, I don't know. I would like to go a couple miles more, but I think I think I should probably just hang out here and rest, maybe to like four or something like that. Uh, hopefully the heat will pass a little. If I had service, I'd check the weather to know for sure if it's going to cool down at all, but I don't have service. But for now, I'm content and comfortable. I just saw a coyote cross the trail and then turn around and cross back. I wish he'd come back, but I'm sure he's not gonna now that I'm talking. Look at the trail here. Isn't it just beautiful? I love all the lichen on the rock. I don't know if you guys can see down there. Oh, so cool. I feel like it must be awful close to the Pole Steeple Trail. This just looks so much like it. It's getting pretty late by hiker standards. I think I have less than a mile to go though. It's a warm one today. 
Oh, let me turn this around so you can see something pretty. Isn't this a lovely little spot? Just, I don't even know what it is about it. It's everything. So pretty to me.